So I've got this idea, you know, there's been a mass exodus from New York. People that had money were fleeing New York and they wanted to get out of the pandemic. And we're going to see New York's numbers go really high and then they'll level off after a period of time. And then there'll be a point where it's just like one or two people getting sick. And then the people that left that had the money to leave will want to come back. But those people coming back will have to go through the areas that are currently affected. And I don't think that you should allow any of your citizens to come back to New York or any other city that is post-infection unless they're tight or positive to either having it or willing to go into quarantine with immediate measures of monitoring because they were the ones that fled. There are many, many rich people from New York City, New York State that left and have gone to places like Blaine, Idaho or Laramie, Wyoming because they have property there and they're rich and, you know, that's capitalism. But they have to come back sometime. And if you have a zero-sum balance of people who are infected, then the people that have it will be the ones that bring it back to you, and all it takes is one. One person infected will affect two to five, and it will start all over again, and then it will be the killing spree all over again, except for next time, they won't want a lockdown. Why would you want a lockdown? I mean, really, it only killed like 50,000 people. I feel pretty good. I probably already have it. Seriously, think about it.